box of bees. Isn't that just a beautiful sight? Two boxes of bees through 14 yards now and I've found evidence of two swarms. I mean, ah, it's all I can do. So I just have to accept some as loss, I suppose. This is one of the reasons I'm getting behind in my work and the weather's not helping me with that. Delay, delay, delay. Cold weather, we're getting cold weather coming up. I guess just can't get this work done as efficiently as I want to, but at least I can. It's cold, the bees are hardly flying. They're in a grumpy mood, they're all at home. There's a shit ton of bees in these boxes. That would be forever finding the queens. But I'm just going through, like I was showing in the earlier videos, and shaking the bees down from the full splits. And with the brood, skimming the broods, we're just shaking the bees and pulling up a brood frame and then coming back and skimming it all off in the evening. One of the reasons why I put foundation on the outsides of my splits is exactly this reason. Look at how full they've packed this box full of nectar and bees and everything good. I can't do this with one hand, but... Fully drawn out, filled with honey. That is one of the reasons why I'm able to continue on with this work without seeing any more in two swarms, is because these big ones have some work to do, work on hand. It only buys me so much time, I still have to get around in a timely manner. Ah, because they will be impatient. So I'll be done this yard. I'll try to get another two in before the end of the day. Probably not pull any splits off this evening. Wait for tomorrow, because tomorrow's gonna be high of nine. So we can put a good morning in pulling off splits. But for the most part, I'm going through and everything's in terrific shape. I mean, we lose a swarm here, lose a swarm there. That's all about being right on that balance. I'd be bitching and complaining if I wasn't losing any swarms because they'd just be too damn small and I wouldn't be making splits on them. So, you know, losing a few here and there is a really good sign. It's a good sign that the bees are in good shape and they're moving forward. And they're moving forward without me. I just got to make sure that I work and put the hours in and catch up and make sure I don't blow them off like that and just kind of, you know, nope, you're staying home. We want you here. There she is. Beautiful queen. So my search is done.
That was a good afternoon. Got lots of work done. Got through more. I got one yard left that I have to pull away, but I'll do that tomorrow morning before the sunshine. I just have these ones to place down. I'll just put them in a straight row over there. I'll call it a night.
my favorite part of the split. When we start the year, we set them out and then we manage them all through the spring according to their specific conditions. We pull out dead ones, we manage weak ones, we manage strong ones, we manage medium ones. We just manage, manage, manage with all these configurations, all these little strategies, all these management practices to bring the whole thing together. And then after the split, it all comes together. Everything's the same size. Everything's the same strength. Everything is ready for the flow. Not quite done. We have to go through and skim and equalize a little bit. But everything is the same. I'll crack these boxes and practically they'll all show the same thing. Ooh, a lot of bees in there. Nicely working up to the top. All the same. All the same strength. All evened out. All ready to go. So now I can, in a sense, forget about these guys for a few weeks, Poof, not a few weeks, for a couple weeks, until we get the rest of the apriol caught up, figured out. Come back through, even about the bigger ones, even out the smaller ones, just kind of skim and give and take a little bit, equalize as we go, and then just sit and wait for the flow.